guys, this is Alex. Um, first of all, I wanted to show off my new um, international friendly Starrett ruler or scale. It has millimeters on one side and inches on the other in two different precisions. Um, so now I don't have to keep uh, putting all the stupid conversions on the on the uh, videos. At least not as many. But that's not really what I'm here to talk about. I thought I'd put this here to give you a sense of scale, and I'll leave it on the metric side uh, because of the nature of what I'm about to show you. I just got this via International Parcel Post from Deutschland. Um, I believe in German it's called a Tresor Schloss. Tresor Schloss, which I believe means safe lock, which is what it is. Um, this thing is massive. It's, uh, let's just stay in metric, why not? About 120 millimeters in diameter, about 50 millimeters tall, 60 to the nose of this thing. Um, it weighs, I don't know, five pounds maybe. Two kilos, three kilos, something like that. Um, pretty serious. I don't know the manufacturer. I think it was in the eBay listing, but I don't recall. This, this is the key for it. Why don't we zoom in on that? Because it's um, that's a hell of a key bidding right there. Check that out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's like 12 um, levers per side. And I don't, let's see, they do look like they're symmetrical, quite possibly, but maybe not. I have to sit there and measure it. But um, enormous key bidding. If you look at the, or an enormous key, the key itself is what? 100 mil long, so three or four inches long. Four inches long. We probably made them bigger too. They came with three of them, probably because it's hard to get, hard to get duplicates. So you probably like to see this thing go. So um, I've only ever seen locks like this in books, uh, like Pulford. Um, so the key has a, a one side is a bit fatter than the other, so it can only go in one way, and it goes really far down in there, but that far sticking with our metric theme, about 50, almost 50 millimeters down, so almost all the way to the bottom. And then you turn, and that's it. That's the extent of the opening. And then you can get at your gold or ill-gotten gains or whatever happens to be in there. Um, this is definitely key retaining. Key's not coming out um, until you unlock it and uh, very authoritative. It is single-sided, so looks like it may have had something written on there, but or a sticker or something like that, but uh, that's gone now. Um, I'm gonna guess it's all steel. I have no idea, but it certainly feels like it. Um, the mechanism inside these things is just astonishing, and um, I'm going to attempt to open it for you. about to happen but I don't take it back it's all levers there's the inside of the lock the um, kiwi that's fixed look at the machining on that this is part you're not gonna see right this is the kind of craftsmanship I don't know how old this is it doesn't look super old Probably less than a hundred, maybe, maybe quite a lot less. This is turned. You can see the machining marks. This this piece of metal is turned. This piece of metal has been machined. It is 
pretty much dead flat across this surface. The screws have been set in, so that's not going to come off. All right. Um, so, and then on the inside, put the key in. That side this way. The key goes in like that. And you can see all these levers. So one set of um, bits is pushing half the levers one way, and one is pushing them the other way. And that opens. So here's the inside. Again, this is machined. I mean, you'd be happy with a, a, a machine tool with this kind of finish on it. This, is, this piece is obviously turned and then machined flat. You see all the little levers in here. There are no springs. These are just set in here. I'm not gonna start trying to take it apart. Um, but here's the action with the key. And you can see how it pushes the, the bits push the um, half of the levers up and half of the levers down. There's no spring tension here. If you look right here, the edge of the bolt, or the stump, as we would call it, is serrated. Okay, and of course there's serrations on all of these levers. So, <laughs> maybe you could pick it, I don't know, but um, you definitely would need a special tool and um, good luck. So, and then that comes back. There's also not a whole lot of room in here. If you look at getting a tool in, how wide this thing is. Um, and then of course as it turns, um, let's see if we can just turn it with the tip of the key. So you'd be in there and you'd be trying to get at those, all those levers. Um, it would be unpleasant to say the least. Um, I think you could probably tension it on this thing, but um, maybe not. Yeah, that's definitely tensioning the bolt. So you'd have a shot. You definitely have a shot. Um, you'll also notice that all of the levers index on um, or they just come to rest on this center bit. Um, so looking in the keyway, you're certainly not going to be able to see the bellies of the levers. Um, and they're going to all be sitting down, well, whichever way the lock is mounted, um, down flush. Again, the inside, there's a little bit of dirt, but this, this inside, this has been done on a lathe. You can see the, let's see if that shows up. You can see the the, uh, the marks from the turning. This whole thing was precision machined, even the the bolt, right? The only piece I see that's not is that little tip there, and there may be some reason for that. I don't know. Let's pull one of the levers out. There it is. This has been used. You can see markings on the on the uh, the lever. Um, and you'll notice that it doesn't come exploding out with lots of, um, lots of junk in the way. There may be other security systems in here, I'm not sure, like a detector or something. I'm not going to take it any further apart at this point. Um, the back plate also comes off, so maybe you can service it from the rear. But, um, there you go. So, Trezor Schloss, Trezor Schloss, um, and forgive me, my German friends, if I, my German sucks. Um, German high security safe lock. Just a gorgeous piece of, gorgeous piece of, of machining um, and piece of engineering. Um, obviously, a tremendous attention to detail. This thing, I mean, okay, there might be a half a thousandth of an inch of play in here, right there. But that's it. <laughs> and, I mean, that's, it, it's just, the tolerances are just incredible. Um, 
So you don't see that in a lot of products anymore. Even the edges are chamfered to protect them. So anyhow, there you go. Um, German uh, safe lever lock, safe lock. Um, uh, this is not gonna get picked, by me at least. Um, I don't wanna damage it and, uh, you know, I'm not good enough to get anywhere near picking that anytime soon. So, anyway. I uh, hope you enjoyed this, a little bit of lock porn. Um, so, uh, guten tag, danke schön, all that good stuff. Um, thanks for watching, have fun, and please keep it legal.